been in a place where burnout was very real. The reason why myself and my co-founder wanted to tackle this problem specifically is because we ourselves had encountered the challenge of not being able to access mental health care through our provider. I was calling for five months at a time before I was even able to reach anyone. And this is just to schedule this sort of initial therapist appointment. We need to be able to have an easy way to be able to detect if somebody is struggling and a clinician with this technology as an adjunct is able to ask those subsequent questions to get that patient to that right level of care. At Kintsugi, we are developing voice biomarker software to detect signs of clinical depression and anxiety from short clips of freeform speech. I think what is really interesting about machine learning technology is that you have psychiatrists who can maybe only see a few hundred patients across their career, but a machine learning algorithm who you can feed tens of thousands of examples for it to learn what is depression, what is anxiety. And I think that there's something really remarkable about being able to do those types of classifications with something that technology is really well suited for, which is analyzing lots and lots of data in ways that maybe you and I can't hear. We did have a moment where it's every like sort of researcher's dream to have happen and it's when you get to take your technology and apply it in the real world. So when we were able to work with a top payer in the healthcare space and deploy this technology with recently discharged emergency department patients, maternal health patients, we were really excited to see the levels of our performance in a production environment. What was really incredible and the outcome of this particular deployment was that we were able to identify 30% more that were undiagnosed depressed in 750 different individuals that were evaluated that would have gone undiagnosed had it not been for our technology. I couldn't believe how simple it was to complete the NSF SBIR fund application. This is compared to having to do dozens of pitches with VCs and so it was really a profound opportunity I think for two immigrant women to have a shot at building new technology with the confidence of the National Science Foundation in our works and it really transformed even our ability and thinking of how big something like this can be. It makes us really proud to work in a space that we all care a lot about and we're galvanized and getting ready to build up to that next major launch.